Hey guys! So, I felt like doing a video tonight. I don't necessarily know what this video is or will be. Um, I have a few things to show you guys though. Um, I got some new phone cases for my new phone. You guys know I have a phone case addiction. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I love phone cases. So I thought I'd show you those. Um, I got a new book that I just got from Target last night that I started reading already and I really like it so far. And I also bought a little budgeting binder because I will be budgeting from here on out. I've never budgeted my money in my life. I've never really been good about saving my money and I want to change that. So... Sorry, I have an itch, like, right on my nose, but if I just, like, go for it, it'll wipe my makeup off. I have not worn black eyeshadow in so long, and I just kind of wanted that punk vibe. I don't know. That's just what I was feeling, and I was trying so hard to find a dark lipstick, but I couldn't find one, so I just went with my hot pink, but pink goes with everything. And I'm actually also wearing... My favorite eyeliner. I haven't worn eyeliner in months. Um, it's my favorite Kat Von D and Billy Joe Armstrong eyeliner. It has my heart because Kat Von D collabed with Billy Joe and I just, I love that man. So, okay, I will show you the book. It is called The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And it's basically about this girl who regrets basically everything in her life and she's ready to die. And um, so like the premise of the book is like, I don't want to give too much away, but she she's ready to die and she comes into this place called the Midnight Library where she's told that she can go back and basically like relive any part of her life that she wants to, to make changes, um, you know, like to those regrets that she had, she can go back and like change everything. Um, it just, it seemed very interesting to me. The chapters are very short, which I do appreciate because sometimes, um, you know, I'm not completely focused on reading. So if I can just read like one short chapter and put it down, or if I do feel like reading a whole lot at once, I can just get through a bunch of chapters very quickly. But I definitely recommend checking it out. I'm not very far in, but so far it does have me hooked. It has me intrigued on what's going to happen. So look for The Midnight Library. I got mine at Target, but I'm sure it's sold anywhere that sells books. Um, okay, so you guys know I got a new phone. I got a Samsung Galaxy A12. So not by any means one of like the newer, bigger, badder galaxies. But this is my phone. I'm obsessed with the camera on this phone. And also this case is actually a clear case. But I put this sparkly background on it because I thought the black looked really cool against the white constellations. This black sparkly insert came from a different case. So I'm gonna take this case off my phone so I can show you. So this case, this is how it came, just a clear case. And this case came with the black sparkly insert I do really like this case as well. I put the pop socket I already owned on it with like the witch's hands, stars, and the moon. And then it has rhinestones all around the sides of the case. So I can use it with the black sparkly thing in there or use it as a clear case. Another case that I got, which I wish the placement of the skull was a little higher because of where I put my pop socket. But regardless, I still think it's really cute. 
This is the case that I first got with my phone. I love it. I feel very protected when my phone is in this case, especially because it has this to cover the camera, so the camera is really protected. But it's just really sparkly and pretty. I really, really love that case. And this case... I got off of eBay. The black sparkly one came from eBay and this case also came from eBay. But I took the holographic insert from this case and put it into this case that came from Amazon, which I love the holographic background on this one. It makes it so much cuter. So this one was on Amazon. And it's just, it's clear, but it has planets and stars and sparkles. But once it's on my phone, I think it looks super cool with the holographic background. So that's what I've been doing. And I, at first, when I got the cases, I didn't like the fact that the little uh, paper inserts came in and out of the cases. I was like, that's a hassle. But now I kind of like dig it because I can put them into any other case and switch up whatever case I'm using. Like for instance, this one was a clear case, but I think it looks really cool with the black sparkles on the background. So those are my new phone cases. Again, I don't know what it is with me and phone cases. I just, I really love phone cases. Um, so... I, I don't know what made me want to start like budgeting. I think I just came across things on Amazon and I was like, that would be very helpful to me. So all of the stuff I'm going to show you, it all came separately. Like none of it came together. Um, so yeah, but it was all very inexpensive. I will say that. Um, actually, I'm missing a few things, so I'm going to go grab the other couple of things that came with all of this so I can show you everything at once. So give me just a minute and I will be right back. All right, so uh, the binder that has everything in it that I'm going to show you, the binder came by itself. It didn't come with anything, but the binder that I found, I thought it was so cute. Now, when I saw it on Amazon, I thought the binder itself was just like, glitterified but when I got it I realized it has glitter in it but the glitter moves around um so it was a little different than I was expecting but it's still really cute and I still really like it see like the glitter just kind of goes everywhere but this is the little binder planner like whatever you want to call it it's um I guess the size of it is a6 so what I have in here I ordered separately um, the little envelopes that go in here where you keep your money. I ordered um, this pack that came with um, a bunch of lined paper and colorful dividers and also these little things. And then the other thing I bought separately was the labels to label each envelope so you know what you're putting money away for. So the way that I filled it out was I started off by putting one of the little pads of paper in the front. And then I have a pink envelope that I labeled Christmas. So... I've already started putting money away towards Christmas. And then I have a blue one I labeled birthdays because not only is Alden's birthday coming up, but so many other people have birthdays coming up. So it would just be nice to have money on hand that I know I can go out and get so-and-so a gift, you know? And then the other ones that I have in here so far that they don't have anything in them yet, but I just have one that I labeled savings. I have one labeled emergencies. 
And then this did come with a clear divider, so I just put that there. And then one of the colorful dividers that came with the pads of paper, I put there. One of the labels was actually labeled Target. And I thought that was so funny because it's so specific, but it's like it was speaking to me because I love Target. I wish there were a Dollar Tree one as well, but there wasn't. But I had to go ahead and put an envelope in here uh, with Target on there. And then I also labeled this one Vision because I want to start putting money aside anytime I get some cash because I really do want to invest in a pair of prescription sunglasses so that I can actually see when I trade out glasses in the car or if we're just playing outside. I love the sunglasses I have, but I never wear them because when I put them on, I'm just, I'm blind. I can't see. And then the next envelope, I just put household. So anything that I may need to buy for the house or anything that like I want to buy for the house, I thought that would be good to have in here. And then I put another little colorful divider. I added another little stack of paper. And then it also came with this little insert where it looks like you can hold three types of cards or something. I don't know if it's meant for like business cards or, or what that's for, but it's in here. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. But the packs of the like pouches, you get, um, I'm trying to think of how many of each you get. All right, I think you get four colors of each. So you get four blue. I labeled this one health. Four yellow. I labeled this one clothing because mama definitely needs some new clothes in her life. So I will be starting to slowly put money aside so that I can buy myself a new wardrobe. Uh, this one, I just put deposit. So anytime I do have some cash, I can just put it in there and know that's what I want to deposit into my bank. This one I labeled wedding because even though uh, I plan to just have a courthouse wedding, there are still things that need to be bought. And if we decide to have a reception with our close friends and family, we would need money for that as well. Um, this one I labeled essentials. And then this one I just put like miscellaneous school vacation. So, um, you know, I am homeschooling, so I can like put money aside in here if I ever like need to buy something that we need for homeschooling or if we decide that we want to take a family vacation or something, I can use this pouch for that. Or again, like the miscellaneous, I can just put money aside and it can be kind of for whatever. So those are all of the pouches. And then I'm actually using one of these colorful dividers um, as a bookmark in my book right now. But I have two of these colorful dividers that I just haven't used yet and a whole another pack of lined paper. And then again, it came with two of these. I guess they're just like teeny tiny little sticky notes, but I don't think I would use these for the budgeting type stuff, but this is something I can use for like, um, if I write my best friend a letter, I can use these to kind of decorate it or scrapbooking or, you know, whatever. I can get creative. And then all of the labels came in this little pouch. I'll read off all the other labels that came with it, just in case you're curious. I think they have different uh, packs of these with different labels. This is just the one that I chose. So there's one that just says kids, one that says gym, <laughs> I will never need that. Now I do wanna start working out, don't get me wrong, but my fiance and I 
plan to have our own home gym and he knows a lot about working out so I want him to really help me. I want to actually get in shape and feel better about myself and not feel so tired all the time and sluggish and just blah. Like I've been very unhappy with my body since having Alden. Um, like not to like get too deep or anything but like way before I ever got pregnant and had Alden and all of that I've always suffered from body dysmorphia and I know that I have because I look at pictures of me when I was so so skinny and my mindset back then was that I was fat and needed to lose weight and when I look at those pictures now I'm like I was literally crazy how did I ever think that way? Like, I just, I feel like I see myself so differently than other people see me, and I hate that. But either way, my fiancé and I both want to start working out. I think it would be great to do together, to get healthy together. We do want to start eating healthier. Now, that will be a little harder for me, but maybe we can do, like, healthy meals throughout the week and then the weekend can be kind of like our cheat days and like we can eat whatever we want. I don't know. I haven't worked everything out just yet. We don't have everything for our home gym yet so I have some time. Um, and then there's gifts. Utilities. Beauty. Dining out debt. Now I will say the font that they used for these little uh, labels, I, I think it's really cute. This one just says personal, bills, shopping, fund, makeup. Now I get it. Like, Especially people that do YouTube where, like, makeup is basically their job. Um, but, like, to me it's kind of silly to put money aside specifically for makeup or beauty. Um, unless it's, like, something that you actually need or something. Um, like, for me, the reason I chose Target as one of my envelopes to keep is because... I can use that target money for anything, whether it's something that I need, vitamins, just something I want. I could get makeup with it, but I don't know. That just seems so silly to, like, budget for makeup and beauty products because that stuff's just not important. I don't know. Um, dental, I definitely need an envelope for that because I need to save up money because I have awful teeth and if I could afford veneers or to get all of my teeth pulled and get implants put in I would do it in a heartbeat as many things about me that I would want to change about myself my teeth are my number one thing because for one they're they're just terrible they're so sensitive um, eating certain sweets, um, that I used to be able to eat with no problem, like, it just, it hurts my teeth so bad, um, I have to use Sensodyne toothpaste because, you know, it helps with the sensitivity, I just have terrible teeth, and if I could just get rid of all of my teeth and get implants, that is my dream, <laughs> so I hope one day that can happen, and then I will never have to worry about mouth pain again. Then there's pet care, coffee, which is important to some people. Of course, there's not one in here for soda because normal people drink coffee and I would totally like put money away for my soda. Uh, mortgage, car maintenance, gas, giving. Electric, date night, 
insurance, rent, water, budget, credit card, and then the last one is also something I don't find important whatsoever, but I know so many people very much care about getting their nails done monthly or every couple of weeks or whatever. So there is one for nails. Um, but yeah, I totally get that. Um, I've just never been the kind of girl that like, I need to get my nails done. I have gotten my nails done in the past and I love getting fake nails. They're fun. They're cute. But after they start to grow out, I've never been the kind of person to go get them filled. So then I just get fed up and then I just end up ripping them off. And I just feel like it's a waste of money, especially now they have so many different like press on nails and whatever. Um, and I mean, I haven't painted my nails in so long. I think I still have like little remnants of red left on my thumbs, but like I like having nails sometimes, but even after I get them done and I love them for a few days or a week, I'm over them because it's hard to do things. And then if you break one, you're just like, well, now all of my nails are ruined. At least that's how I think. So I'm good with short nails. I don't like growing my own nails. It kind of freaks me out. I don't like the way they feel when they get long. So I cut them short. I do want to paint them soon though, come to think of it. Not to be rude, but my best friend just messaged me, so I'm going to see. What is she sending me? Oh, okay. So my friend Cindy, I was asking her, like, what kind of videos I should do. I always ask my friends for suggestions um, because sometimes I just kind of have, like, brain farts and I don't know what kind of videos to do. And my friend Cindy said I should do a Q&A, and she sent me a ton of questions. So I asked my best friend, I was like, can you send me some questions for a Q&A? Because I feel like I don't know myself enough to, like, come up with questions that other people would want to know about me. I know that sounds silly, but, like, it's like, who am I? I don't know who I am. Um, so I do want to do a q and I know I've done them before, and I actually had subscribers ask me questions but I didn't have a ton of subscribers asking me questions so if any of you want to see another Q&A um, and you want to know things about my life obviously I won't you know do like super personal topics but I would love to answer your questions I would love for you to get to know me more um, feel free to leave comments down below of what questions you have for me anything you'd want to know about me stuff like that I'd love to do a q and I might have enough between the questions from my friend Cindy and my best friend Lindsay to do a Q&A, so we will see, and maybe I'll even do one tonight. I just have to look through, like, my best friend sent me, like, three things to look through, and then I have to, like, copy and paste what Cindy had sent me and make it all in one place so I'm not like all over the place. I get so many notifications. Okay, so that's what I will do. I will be working on a Q&A. I just, I was really excited to show you guys my um, phone cases. I haven't ordered any more yet. But you know I will because I love phone cases. I just love that like you can switch up your phone case to make it look so different. It's like your phone has its own personality. I don't know. And your phone is basically an accessory to you these days. Like, nobody does anything. Rude. Nobody does anything without their phones anymore, you know? So you may as well make them cute. So, um, and all the cases I buy are typically, like, under $10. So, um... You know, I'll, like, add them to my cart as I find them, and then I always, like, hit save for later. But if I'm placing an order, like, I'm going to be placing orders to order Alden's birthday present soon, I might add in, like, one of those cases or something. So my phone case collection will grow, and I will probably do a video strictly on my phone case addiction. 
I know you guys probably don't care about that, but if you're anything like me, maybe you will enjoy it. But I was just really excited about this little budget binder and everything, and I actually had somebody comment on my Instagram post about this asking where I got this. Uh, I still need to DM her. I'm going to link her all of the stuff I purchased for this, um, but I will do the same down below in this video in case you all are interested. There are definitely different kinds of binders. You don't have to get like a sparkly one. You can get a plain one. I'm sure they have colored ones, whatever. Um, I just like the fun sparkles because it just makes things pretty and more fun. Um, so if any of you are interested, I will list all of this stuff down below. I still have to send her a DM with all of the info as well. Also, I don't remember if I showed you this or not, but I am completely addicted to the Sour Patch Kids strawberry candies. Like, Sour Patch Kids in general are good, but I'm always picking out the red and blues, and I never eat the other flavors. This is strictly strawberry flavors. I almost, like, ate this entire bag in one day, but they're cute. They look like little bitty strawberries. And they taste, hear me out, if you like fruit roll-ups and you like a little bit of sour, it tastes like a sour strawberry fruit roll-up in bite-sized form. This is only $2.99 for this big bag. And the other day at Dollar Tree, I, I saw these for the first time. I was like, ooh, strawberry. So I picked up the little bag for a dollar, and when I saw these at Target, this big old bag for only $2.99, I had to get it. I went in Target earlier today, almost bought another bag, but I stopped myself because I have some left. And I don't need that much candy. But anyway, um, I feel like this was kind of a boring video, but <laughs> I was excited to show you guys... Um, this stuff. So I'm going to end this video here, possibly try to get done a Q&A since I already have makeup on and everything. So um, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!